So a while back, um, I did a video talking about being a father and specifically being a father to girls. Look, I expect trolling whenever you put anything out on the internet. It's a feature, not a bug. I didn't expect the number of people that wanted me to put an entire dissertation on parenting and raising little girls into a 60 second video. And um, I'm not really responding to them. What I am responding to is the thousands of comments that I got from women who said that what I talked about brought them to tears and that they had wished their father would have applied some of the lessons that I talked about. So it's out of respect for them and it's out of hope that aspiring fathers will be able to learn some of the lessons up front that I learned from raising daughters. So three lessons I learned raising daughters. So when I found out I was going to be a father, I was actually 22 years old. I was in the Army, Army Infantry over in uh, Schofield Barracks, Hawaii. It was uh, not too long after 9-11. Uh, um, I had volunteered to go to the Special Forces Qualification course, and that's kind of the backdrop for when I found out that not only was I going to be a father, but I was going to have a little girl. And so the first thing I did in my videos, I talked about two of the people that I had uh, formative conversations with in order to prepare for this monumental task. Now, the first one is obvious. It was my wife. She's the most important woman in my life. I love and respect her, but it's a little bit more than that. I genuinely admire my wife, and I admire her because of things that she's had to overcome, challenges that she's had to face. I've always deeply appreciated her reason, her integrity. I went to her first and asked her questions, and um, it was incredibly helpful. The second person that I talked to, which I think got some attention on the video, was someone that I described as uh, the biggest man whore I think I had ever met in the military. And I met him as we were going through the Special Forces Qualification course. And, and you need to understand that as, a, as an operator, I really respected this guy. But as a, uh, as a father, this guy kind of represented the things that I wanted to protect my daughter from. I mean, this was the sort of guy that beautiful women threw themselves at him and he was always happy to catch him. And so candidly, uh, one day I went up to him and I said, uh, how do I protect my little girl from someone like you? And he said, tell her that you love her because if you don't, someone who doesn't will and she'll believe him. In that moment, as a father, a part of you just wants to hit him. <laughs> but I asked and he answered honestly. And so that led me into the three lessons that I've learned and I've tried to apply. And the first one was, tell your daughter you love her. Now, when I said this on a 50 second video, people came in and it's not good enough to just tell them, you have to demonstrate it, you have to show it. I know that. One of the reasons why I said, tell your daughter you love her, is because you need to understand something about the way men interpret love sometimes. We look at the 50, 60, 70 hours a week we're putting in to provide, to work, to protect, as a demonstration of our love. And I think it is. I think it is a valid demonstration of our love. But the problem is, is that when you have a little girl, if you're not telling her that you love her, she might miss that. And so it is important for men to express it to their little girl. Another thing that's very important is that your little girl does need to see you as the provider, does need to see you as the protector. And there's some people that'll question those traditional gender roles, and I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't care. I think your little girl needs to see you as those things. She needs to see you as the bravest person on the planet. You're the one that protects her from the monsters. Now, in seeing you that way, there also needs to be something else in order for you to demonstrate love, and that is a soft spot or a tenderness that belongs to her. And it's not something that comes out for other people. You can be fun with your friends, you can be competent with your coworkers, and you can be a danger to anything that would pose a threat to your family. But she needs to see the tender side that belongs to her. And doing that is important because it establishes that trust and love. Because there are going to be times in your life where you can't just be the fun guy. You've also got to be a disciplinarian. You've got to bring correction. And you always want her to know that it comes from a position of love. So that was the first lesson. You have to tell your daughter you love her, not just with what you say, but with what you do. And in ways that she understands and appreciates as love. The second lesson I learned was you have to be honest with your daughters. Here's what I mean by that. Love doesn't lie. Now, that doesn't mean there's going to be times, especially as you're explaining things to your young child, that you have to go into detail or that you have to be harsh. Honesty should always be delivered with an element of gentleness to your children. But you don't lie. 
And the reason why you don't is because at the same time that you're demonstrating to her that you love her, you're also demonstrating to her that daddy will tell her the truth. Because especially nowadays, there are going to be a thousand different philosophies and theories and ideas about life and expectations about who she is and what she should be and what she should do. And she needs to know that you represent you represent truth in her life and truth coming from someone that deeply loves her and only wants the best for her. So you have to be honest with your daughter. The third lesson I learned is they have to be able to be honest with you. Now, if you've done the first two things right, if you've demonstrated love for your daughter in a way that she understands, respects, and believes in, if you've demonstrated to her that you will tell her the truth and that you whenever you're guiding her down a particular path in order to let her be everything that God's intended her to be, that you're doing it with her best interest in mind, that's going to save her from probably making a lot of mistakes that if you didn't provide that for her. But there's still going to be mistakes. And if she doesn't feel like you're a safe harbor in the storm, well, she's going to go to somebody to talk about it. It just won't be you. And this is the part where as a father, sometimes you're going to have to recognize that desire to protect, that desire to defend, that desire for her to be everything that she can be is going to need to be present. But again, with an element of softness and gentleness when she has to come to you and essentially confess that she did something that she knows will disappoint you because she knows that ultimately you'll love her regardless. There's another element to the honesty that doesn't get spoken about as much, and that's when she has to be honest with you on something you did wrong. I won't forget the time where my young teenage daughter uh, had to come up and asked very respectfully, Daddy, can I talk to you? Yes, you may. I don't think you handled something very well. Now, I was tired. Uh, It had been a long day at work. And uh, every ounce of me would have said, well, thank you for your opinion, but I'm (laughs) I'm in charge here and I don't need to be critiqued by a 13-year-old. The problem was is that she had brought up a good point. See, I had come home, and my two younger children, my son and my younger daughter, had made a mess in the kitchen. I got upset, told them to clean it up, told them to go to their rooms, but I hadn't found out why they had done it. And Lily came up to tell me that they had gotten permission to make something for me, and because I had essentially flew off the handle without actually understanding the situation, that I had hurt their feelings, and now they were too afraid to tell me. So in that moment, she had to be honest with me on something that I did wrong. And I had to recognize in that moment that this was an opportunity to demonstrate to her that when she had the courage to come to somebody that she loved, respected, and saw as an authority figure to challenge them on something they'd done wrong, I could either reward her for that or I could punish her for it. And either way, I would be setting an example for how she would deal with other figures in her life from then on. The fourth thing that I brought up, and this was something that I remember watching, a, uh, I think he was a counselor. He was watching my video, and he loved my first three points, but he didn't seem to have much appreciation for the fourth one. And that's where I said, <laughs> plus, I taught him how to shoot just in case. Now, I understand that there's some comedic value to that, and that was somewhat intended, but I was serious. And the reason why I was serious is because the world we live in is a dangerous one. It can be especially dangerous for a young woman. And I don't want it to be that way. I've tried to fight to make sure that it wasn't that way for not only my daughters, but for anyone that I could affect. I want her to be aware of the danger. I never want her to be afraid of it. And the toughest thing you'll realize as a father is that one day you might not be there to protect her from the monsters. So you want to make sure that you have a young woman that will never let any monster stand in the way of her becoming everything that she's supposed to be. So those are three things I learned of raising daughters. I hope it helps.